scrimmaging going on in the middle of the pack. First one out, Desert Sunset in the moment is right there. Modernist is near the rail. They are followed by Sword Storm. On the outside of that one is Your Worship and caught widest of all in the early stages is Royal Union Jet with the orange cab. They are followed by Impact Zone and then comes Barcelona Babe. That's about seven lengths off the leader. Then Royal Zulu Guard. Further back in the running at this stage is Selvin's Jet and then comes Gunslinger and Jack Ann as they settle down to stride and go to the 13. The saddle has slipped on Royal Union Jet. So the saddle has slipped on Royal Union Jet and it's Desert Sunset on the inside. And they'll follow it further back by In The Moment. Modernist is at the rail. On the outside of that one there is Your Worship and then Barcelona Babe. Selvin's Jet's got the white cap and then Royal Zulu Guard with the black cap on the inside. Then Jay again, Gunslinger's the trailer. Royal Union Jet has run off the track, the saddle's gone. Desert Sunset continues to lead it. In the moment is second. Modernist is out the rail. Your Worship is between the two of them. They are followed by Selvin's Jet is now on the move with Impact Zone. Further back in the run at this stage is Sword Storm and then comes Royal Zulu Guard and Jay again with Barcelona Babe. Top of the lane they come and Desert Sunset still leads it. Impact Zone on the outside, Selvin's Jet. Sword Storm is towards the inside. Jay again. Barcelona Babe's a big runner on the outside. Modernist now hits the front. Barcelona Babe, Desert Sunset tries to fight back. Selvin's Jet down the inside of that. Sword Storm. Modernist to Sword Storm. Desert Sunset. Selvin's Jet. Barcelona Babe. And I think Barcelona Babe won it on the outside. Second, perhaps, Selvin's Jet. Let's wait for that one. Modernist. Sword Storm all involved. I think Barcelona Babe got up on the line. Very close finish. There could be a neck between the first five. I think the horse nearest us is going to get up. Barcelona Babe. Modernist is right there. Selvin's Jet as they come down to the line. Barcelona Babe wins it. Selvin's Jet second. Modernist a third. Desert Sunset fourth. Jay again, impact zone, sword storm. Just look at that. The first six or seven runners, nothing in it. Then four lengths back and then another force is involved. And they were followed then by Royal Zulu Guard. So Barcelona Babe will get up in the shadow of the post number 11. It pays 10.60 the win. So Barcelona Babe on the extreme right-hand side. Selvin's Jet's got the white cap. Modernist is on the left-hand side. And also in the thick of things, a sword storm. A terrific finish. The toad favorite was number three. Until next Sunday, until this coming Sunday, we're at Scottsville for a 10-race program. Craig Peters signing off. race will belong to trainer Belinda Impey with Barcelona Babe, the daughter of Silvano, five year old, notching up a second career win. It will be a first on the surface and uh, she was expertly timed uh, by Sean Veal to get up on the line here, denying a few of the other runners. Firstly, Belinda, congratulations to yourself and your team. Uh, uh, you seem to uh, have a spot on today and nice to see her win again for the Sings. Yeah, thanks Dees, um, also well done to them and just um, a big thank you to all my guys back at home, they do all the hard work and just a great ride by Sean, I just want to really thank him, you know, this filly, she's not an easy ride, she's very difficult and she just doesn't travel in races and Sean just, he seems to know, get the knack of her and he rode a superb race. Were you confident coming to the race, I mean, did you think that she could win this? Dees, I thought she could run a place, you know, she's she's been very disappointing her last few runs and um, a couple of months ago she showed a bit and then she's just sort of like backed off and um, she just showed me nothing and I just said to Chavin the one owner I said I don't know what to do you know so he actually suggested well let's take the blinkers off so we took the blinkers off and I think that just did the trick but thanks to everyone these guys uh, they got a few with you yeah these um, they've got a, a couple of shares and horses and nice supporters well let's uh, turn out to be a nice way to end off the evening well done Belinda yeah thank you these well done, Belinda MP. Let's get the gentleman who opened the batting and uh, he's closed the batting as well. Our good friend Sean Veal.
Uh, it's turned out to be a, a fairly decent evening considering your rides. Yes, you know, I had uh, fair chances all around, you know, and uh, I'm just grateful for all the support I'm getting at the moment, you know. My boss never had a lot of runners today, but uh, all other trainers stuck me on, you know. Belinda, always there when we need her, and we're always there for her. So uh, I'm grateful, you know, for the opportunity on this filly. I won this filly's maiden, mm. and, uh, you know, I, I actually rated this filly, and then she just, like, lost it a, a little bit, you know, but uh, so vulnerable got to mature, you know, and uh, today when I pulled her out without the blinkers on, she just automatically quickened under me and uh, she won a good race, fully. I don't think she's going to stop you. Well done to the boys, they were all very confident, you know, and to Belinda, good job, well done. It was a dive to the line, but uh, you finished best of the rest. Yes, you know, these when I quickened past them, I actually went a little bit earlier than I wanted to, but uh, I had so much horse under me, I had to go. And uh, when I squeezed this fully, she never stopped, she tucked down the whole way to the line and she managed to pull off another nice race for Belinda, you know. It's a far drive for her back to Ashburton now, but uh, she has to do it. She has, she's got to go to work tomorrow, so thanks to her and her owners. And to so my sponsor, Odyssey Steel, and this one's for my wife and my little boy and her family. They're watching. This one's for them. Good double. Shot. Let's get Roshan in. He's going to represent the guys. And uh, Roshan, well, it sounds like you gave uh, Sean more confidence than Belinda did. Yes, we did. We fancied our strong today because we took the blinkers off. And uh, she was due for a win. She was coming down in the rating as well. And uh, she's now on two for you. So that second career win long overdue. Yeah, the second career win long overdue. But the thing is, in KZN, we hardly get the distance races. The are also looking for more ground. And nice to see you win on the poly as well. Yes, exactly. Well, to yourself and the rest of the family, well done. And uh, uh, go and cash in that pick six ticket. Okay, I just want to say uh, thanks to Belinda and uh, Sean for a good ride. Well played. Thank you. Well, the boys, they tell me, they got the picky. They took a chance and they banked her at the back. So they did well here with 11 Barcelona, babe. Well, 11, 3, 10 and 7. Those are the numbers uh, that you'll need if you caught uh, the quartet here in race number 8. And uh, yeah, it was something different, something strange for your World of Winners Teletrack. Uh, a midweek meeting, night racing at Gravel this Wednesday. Of course, it was a meeting that was uh, uh, put in by the operator Gold Circle after an abandoning meeting uh, a couple of weeks back at Scottsville. And if you find yourself standing in the winner's queue, well played this evening. Big thank you to Warren and Kevin Shane, the parade ring. Craig Peters uh, calling all eight races. And of course, Raymond Rogers and his team. But a race meeting never goes by without the mention of the hardest working cameraman on course, who is none other than Zane. And uh, these days, he's assisted when we have night racing by his assistant, who is none other than S. Simulation from myself, Dees Dianan, until we meet again, which will be on Sunday at Scottsville. Take care. Salani Gashley.